everybody, it's Holly and welcome back to Smile by Holly. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. So today I've got just a quick tutorial on how to make an envelope folio. And look how cute this is. All this takes is two envelopes to make this cute little folio. And you have options for making two pockets. I've actually just made the one pocket and added a cute card inside. But isn't that just so simple and cute? And with Valentine's just around the corner, I made mine with, you know, a cute Valentine's theme. But this could work for, you know, birthday, anniversary, any kind of holiday. So let's just go ahead and get started. And I'll show you how simple this is to put together. So here is mine. Look how cute that is. I've used this paper that has gnomes on it. And gnomes are the big thing right now. I just think they're so cute. Of course, I've added a bow on mine. <laughs> but this is a cute gnome that says, I'm sweet on you. And that just lifts up and it opens up to Happy Valentine's. Got a popped up heart, my heart belongs to you. And then I've just added a simple card on the inside. You know, you could put embellishments down in here. You could add more than one card. I mean, that's quite a big pocket. So there's a lot of possibilities. I've also closed up the second pocket, which is right here. But if you had a lot of things that you wanted to stuff inside your envelope folio, you could certainly leave that open and have lots and lots of room. So, so cute and so easy. Let's just go ahead and get started. Now, if your folio does turn out to be a little bit thicker, you may want to consider adding a magnet. Uh, right here underneath your paper before you add your paper down. Mine isn't very thick, so my envelope is staying shut pretty good, but it is a thought. I did notice that if your folio is a little bit thicker, consider adding that magnet down there. But let's just jump right in. Now, you can make this with any size envelope. Of course, the base piece of what you you know, put on top of these, the size would be different. So just kind of adjust it. Once you know how to put it together, which is super simple, you can use whatever envelopes you have at home. I am using five and a half by seven and a half inch envelopes. And I think this makes just a really nice size folio, but I think this would also be cute with, you know, the mini size envelopes, just like a, make a little mini one. Okay, so go ahead and open up both of your envelopes. And we are just going to glue this one right on top of that one. Now, technically, you could make a longer one. You could just keep adding envelopes and then folding them over on top of each other. So just giving you some ideas as to some things that you could add on to this. Mine is just a fairly simple one, quick little uh, folio that you could get out to a friend for Valentine's. So I am just going to add glue right here. I'm using my art glitter glue today. Just going to layer this right on top, make sure it's even. And that folds, there we go. And push it down. So how are you guys doing today? Are you having a fun crafty day? I love, love, love weekends just because weekends are my craft time. And anyway, it's just a beautiful kind of cold winter day here. I've got my Diet Coke and I'm crafting. So what could be better, right? <laughs> okay, so there is basically our base to our folio. And isn't that fun because the top of the envelope just flips over and makes just a nice closure for this little folio going to bring in some paper. Now, because my envelope is five and a half by seven and a half, all the papers that I cut for my base are five by seven. So the measurements for this uh, folio are just super, super simple. But just note, different size envelopes will require different size papers. Simple, right? Now, I only added paper on the top part of mine. This is still white. 
you could definitely do that, but because I'm pulling out the black, the pink, and the white, I decided to leave the underside of mine white. But, you know, lots of different options here. So once again, I have gone ahead and already cut out my papers, which are the five by seven. And I'm just gonna go ahead and layer these down. So are you guys working on Valentine's crafts right now? You know, there's, well, there's, I was going to say there's so much cute Valentine paper, but there's cute paper for every holiday. And I'm a paper fanatic, so I kind of go crazy in the paper department. But look how cute that paper coordinates. Oh, love it, love it, love it. So we had kind of a crazy week. We're in, oh, I wake up in the morning and it's about 15, 16 degrees and we get up to about 30, 35, 30, 35 here in Salt Lake City. You know, it's middle of winter, but we had gone away on a trip and we came back and our furnace had broken. <laughs> so our house, can I just tell you, it was ice cold ice, ice, ice cold. I mean, we're really lucky that the pipes in our house didn't freeze, but fortunately everything was okay. But then, you know, it takes a couple days to get a repairman out and I just haven't been that cold for a long time. Couldn't quite get my body warmed up. So my house is now warm and it feels good. Okay, let's get some other bottom pieces of paper on. Now for this, you're going to need four pieces that are the size for your envelope. Let's go ahead and add our inside paper. Now this is where you can do it a couple different ways like I had mentioned earlier, is you can actually make pockets on both of these. You would just not glue your paper all the way down. Now it kind of depends how many things that you have that you want to put inside and how thick you want your folio. Um, I think I'm just going to stay with the one pocket, but just know uh, if you do want those, you don't want to glue your paper directly down or it will glue your pocket together. Does that make sense? So for this first one, we are just going to glue it down flat. And then for the second one, now you could actually trace this little uh, triangle and make it so that your pocket has like the triangle uh, opening. I'm just going to use my circle punch and make just a standard size kind of uh, opening. and see how that works out. So now when we go to glue this down, we are only going to glue it on this part of the envelope. So this part stays open. I'm just gonna add some adhesive right here. Just kind of think about that before you start adding your paper. <laughs> because if you put your paper down, you might not get it back up. <laughs> okay, so see how that makes just a cute little pocket right there. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over, add some paper onto the back. And our cute little folio is covered. Now just remember, once again, you can add a piece right here if you would like. And I think I actually will because I really like that teal paper. Once again, I'm just going to trace my envelope, lip. Is it the lip or the flap? One of those. Okay, let's see how this is gonna look. Oh yeah, I actually like that, that's really cute. I might go back on my other one because I think it pulls out the color a little bit. Get some of our tape on here.
Okay, yeah, that I think that looks really cute. Just kind of pulls it together. So we are ready to just add our embellishments and ba-boom, we're done. So I made this cute card with the little cutouts from the collection, You Light Up My Life. And doesn't that just look so cute with the whole entire uh, folio? Added a few little of these really cute popped up uh, buttons or beads. That'll go just perfectly down inside of our folio. I popped this little embellishment up on some white just to kind of have it pop a little more on the paper. And I think I'll add some of these cute little puffy dots. Bring in a few more things. I love this because it actually gives you a little space to write a cute note. And you know, you could make your own, but I think that's cute to be able to have it a little bit more personalized right here. I love that. I think it's needing something in this space. Maybe some, oh yeah, that looks cute. Add some little stickers. Oh, I think that is just so dang cute. And of course we've got a little gnome that we'll put on the front. I'm just gonna put it in the corner because when I close it, I'm going to balance it with a bow right here, a bow. Go figure, right? And then look how cute that is. I love you more every day. Pop that up, cute. We'll add our bow right there. Oh, I just really like this. Okay, so, so easy and so cute. And that just pops up. We've got our little gnome, I love you more every day. And there you go with our cute little pull out card. All coordinates, it was just so simple and so easy. If you had a bunch of envelopes, wouldn't this be easy to make up like five or 10? And once again, my folio is not too thick, so my flap is, you know, just staying flat. But if yours is thicker, consider adding a magnet there. So let me bring in my other one. There are my two cute envelope folios. So I hope maybe I've given you some ideas of something simple and easy because you know that's what it's all about, right? Thank you so much for joining me today. It was wonderful to have you along. And if you got some value out of the video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. So I hope you have a wonderful crafty day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.